Hey, Jeff, are you okay? I got your call. Your, your voice sounded funny on the phone. I feel very bad. Ugh. Why? What's wrong? Have you had enough to eat today? I sucked on the show last night. No, you didn't. You didn't. You were great. All right, it was a bit rough. But it was your first night. I remember a certain Scottish entertainer who got off to a rocky start, but it all worked out in the end. I love Susan Boyle. <laughs> Susan Boyle? Me! I was terrible at this show when I first got it, but after a while I got comfortable. I started to enjoy myself. But you still suck. I want to be good, man. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. TV isn't about being good, it's about being confident. Look at all the greats. Dr. Phil, not good, but confident. Geraldo, crap, but with a confident moustache. Ryan Seacrest, dumber than a can of paint. But you wouldn't know, and why? Because he's confident. You wanna be a TV star, Jeff? You gonna forget any ideas about quality or intelligence? You just look down that camera, Jeff, and, and you own how bad you really are, and be proud. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I mean, I mean suck, but I suck with pride. Like one of those Dyson vacuum cleaners. Exactly. So you go out there tonight, buddy, and you show everyone you've got the proper amount of suction. I love you, man. I feel very bad. Ugh. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Subway now has breakfast. Build your better breakfast only at Subway. It was almost like you were real people and not paid hobos. <laughs> but what an attractive bunch of paid hobos you are. I think they're putting beauty parlors in the freight trains now. <laughs> beauty parlors. There's a dude looking at me over there who's just like that. <laughs> like, I'm only here because I didn't get into American Idol, you... That's why I'm here. I don't even like you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Frankly, buddy, I don't even speak English. <laughs> but I heard there might be free chicken. <laughs> well, there might be. He's still doing it. He's staring at me now. He's kind of creeping me out. What <laughs> kind of a day is it? I'll tell you. It's a great day for America, everybody. That's what it is. A great day. <laughs> Thank you. Now, listen, it is it's a great day. Uh, congratulations to Duke University. Last night they beat uh, Butler to win the NCAA championship. Right here on CBS. CBS cares. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't really follow the college basketball, though, because when I heard that Duke beat Butler, I thought, must be a scandal at Buckingham Palace or something. <laughs> Did you hear that Duke beat Butler? 
Well, I'm sure he deserved it. <laughs> Butlers enjoy that sort of thing, don't they? <laughs> Do you know there's a new poll that says that the majority of people in California now support gay marriage, but opponents of gay marriage are not embracing the poll? Which makes sense, because if they were embracing the poll, then they wouldn't be opposed to <laughs> gay marriage. It's a very exciting day for a 13-year-old uh, Californian boy named Jordan Romero, who lives here in California, but not today, because today he arrived at the Himalayas. He will attempt today to be the youngest person ever to climb Mount Everest. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not that impressed, really. When I was a teenager, I'd get much higher than Mount Everest, but I think... <laughs> he's climbing Mount Everest. I'm like, what the? Oh, spring break, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, it's a big deal for someone that small to, you know, to go up Mount Everest. It's a gigantic obstacle to climb. It's a huge ratio, an enormous difference. There hasn't been anything like this since Tom Cruise married Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Don't you dare applaud that. <laughs> that dude's over there, he's like, what, what does that even mean? Do you know that this kid who's doing this, Jordan Romero, he was also the youngest person to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. He did that when he was 10. Now, you could tell that Mount Kilimanjaro is dangerous because it contains the phrase, kill a man. <laughs> it's, it's even more dangerous than Mount kick a man in the nuts. <laughs> and don't even talk to me about twisted scrotum peak. <laughs> yeah. That's right, I said Twisted Scrotum Pete. That's what you'll be getting. <laughs> if you play your cards right. I, I, I've got to be honest with you. I don't have to be, but I'll do it and see what happens. I, I don't know if it's a good idea to let your kid climb dangerous mountains. I mean, I, I have no opinion about this, I agree with you, but I think people who climb mountains, they're not, um, they, they're not, uh, it's not really a sport, it's a kind of search for grace. It's almost a religious thing, you know, and abs they're looking for absolute quiet and, and, and solitude. I don't have to climb a mountain to find out, I just show up here. <laughs> I can say or do anything, and the only witnesses will be the crisp night air, a gaggle of Canadian hobos, and, and perhaps a robot skeleton. Isn't that right, Jeff? Yes. Right. Yes, Jeff. He's doing pretty well, I think. You know, he'll calm down. He's a bit nervous at the moment. Don't know why he could kill us all with his eyes. <laughs> now, if you don't know where Mount Everest is, it's, uh, it's at the border of uh, Nepal and Tibet. Do we have a map of uh, the, Yeah, there's India, Tibet, New Jersey, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> uh, be, uh, Carnegie Delhi is right there. And then New Delhi. Yeah, it's around there somewhere. Now, that map might be a bit misleading because the people there don't call it Mount Everest. The Nepalese people call it Mount Sagarmata. Uh, and they call the Himalayas simply Himal. And they refer to the Jonas Brothers by the Nepalese word adorable. <laughs> I like Nick the best. He is hotter than Vindaloo. Do you know what? people have climbed Mount Everest, 2,700. Everest has had more men on top of it than Elton John. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's accurate, actually. <laughs> but there's lots of people have climbed Mount Everest. The doctors have climbed it, lawyers have... You know, a blind guy climbed Mount Everest. It's true, in 2001, a blind American climber reached the summit of Mount Everest. At least that's what they told him. <laughs> they told him he was climbing Everest. I think what they do is they just open the freezer door and put him on a Stairmaster. I am I almost at the top! No, no, a couple more hours, keep going! That's not true, I made that up. 
anyway, when you're climbing the Himalayas, the climb itself isn't the only thing to worry about. There's also the abominable, the, you know, the, the uh, adonimal, the, uh, you know, the Yeti. It's the Yeti. you got to look out for that. You know the ancient creature known for its white hair and its incessant howling? Do we have a picture of the Yeti? There it is. What's the deal with Everest? <laughs> you know the first person to climb Everest was Sir Edmund Hillary from New Zealand he was from. Uh, so he was part hobbit. And <laughs> he used his magical hobbit powers to climb Everest <laughs> in 1953. And he got very famous, but no one gives any credit to the poor guy who went up there with him. Uh, it was a local Sherpa named uh, Tenzing Norgay. He had to carry all Sir Edmund Hillary's uh, crap going up there and then, and then back down. And he never got famous. And you know where Tenzing Norgay is now? Working as a truck stop prostitute in the Piggly Wiggly in Kathmandu. <laughs> That's not true. I am. I mean, he was a great hero in the, there, and I just made that up cause so I could say so I could say Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Although there probably is a Piggly Wiggly in Kathmandu now, because it's very commercialised. It's very big tourist. You know what's at the very top of Everest now? A, a Starbucks, <laughs> which doesn't have a bathroom. <laughs> but that's all right because the Starbucks next to it has a bathroom, so it's all right. A dude hasn't cracked a I got a smile the whole time I've been talking. Just the whole time. And what does it say about me that I'm kind of like interested in him? I'm like, oh, that's an interesting dude over there. He probably doesn't know what I'm saying. Oh, he knows all right. He's just like... Yeah, well, never mind. So it's commercial break time now, that'll be awesome. Yeah. That's the only thing CBS really cares about. We'll be right back. And now, Craig's Spanish word of the day. Today's word is esqueleto. Esqueleto. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. If you know anything about me, you know I like to use the Spanish word of the day in a sentence because it helps me remember it, but I have no idea what sentence I could use esqueleto in. <laughs> You know, some of these Spanish words, they're very difficult to make out, but, you know, when you hear a skeleton, you think, oh, what can that mean, you know? <laughs> Sausages. Anyway. What time is it, Jeff? It's time to check the tweets, Craig. <laughs> well, you better play the jingle then, Jeff. Play the jingle, go on. Euro crashes and Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check some tweets. Plus emails. Check the, uh, we'll check the tweets and the emails. We'll check this tweet. This is a tweet. Uh, you can tell it's a tweet because it's got a cockatoo on it. <laughs> it's actually not a cockatoo. It's a, it's a duck, isn't it? Dear Craig, you said it was a cockatoo, but it's not a cockatoo. It's a duck. I'm a jerk with no life. <laughs> I think I've been a bit defensive. You know why? It's because of that dude over there. <laughs> it's like inviting my childhood headmaster <laughs> into my life from beyond the grave. <laughs> Don't be taking shots of him. No! Making them all... I was going to say making them all famous, and then I went, oh, wait a minute, it's on this show. That wouldn't make it, <laughs> Anyway, this is, a, this is a tweet. This is from Art, and, uh, which I think is short for Arthur. And uh, he's in Rancho Cucamonga in California. He says, hey, Craig, I've been thinking about getting a new car. Any suggestions? What do you drive? Uh, I drive one of them, uh, well, who advertises on CBS? 
Is it, is it Ford? Yeah, I actually do drive a Ford. I, drive, I do. I got a Ford. Uh, I, drive, I go for the old-fashioned cars where uh, they're built in America and they still have brakes. <laughs> but Craig! I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Oh, come on, Craig. They're bad for the environment. I go, no, I consider the environment around me very important. <laughs> and I like to be able to stop it when... <laughs> I reach a traffic light. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is uh, a tweeter. No, look, that's got a cockatoo. Oh, that's a cockatoo. <laughs> this is from Brandy in Winnipeg, which is in Canada, my northern hobo friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just inside Canada, though. It's just inside Canada. The, uh, you go up to uh, North Dakota, and then you go over the top of North Dakota, pff, Winnipeg, right there. <laughs> so now you know the way. Uh, Brandy says, Dear Craig, whatever happened to dyeing your hair blonde? I was going to dye my hair blonde, but what happened is we spent the money on a robot. <laughs> He'll loosen up. He'll loosen up. It's only his second show. He'll be fine. <laughs> all right. Um, these are all about Jeff. I don't want to read anything about Jeff. Why are you getting so many emails? <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> Do you know that dude over there, Jeff? <laughs> this is from uh, Dan in North uh, Bathsheba in Maryland. You thought I didn't know where North Beersheba was, didn't you? Well, you were wrong. It's in Maryland. And I love Maryland because I got crabs there once. Uh, what is it? Not Beth, Bethsheba, not Bethsheba. Bethsheba was in the Bible. Wasn't she a temptress or something in the Bible? Was she a temptress? Any Bible readers in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one guy over there. Yeah. Um, no, uh, Dan says, Dear Craig, how current are the emails you read on the show? Well, when did you send this? April 6th? What day is it? April 6th, unless this is a rerun, in which case, uh, not very current. <laughs> All right, we'll take a uh, break. We'll be right back. to the show <laughs> where stuff happens some of it good some of it not so good some of it downright embarrassing and that's where I come in <laughs> my first guest tonight is an actress and a writer she's a very very beautiful woman she does that show The Office which is on Thursday nights on NBC <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I do that, because, you know, they've never done it to me. Well, yeah, well, I know. <laughs> anyway, take a look at this. This is the second time that you've sent me the wrong size. I mean, I know what a four should feel like. I've been a four my whole life. You know what? You can go to hell. All right? Thanks for nothing. Oh, man. White people, right? I don't know if she was white. I bet you get pulled over by the cops a lot just because of your race. Well, they say it's because of texting, but maybe you're right. I think you should consider applying for the Executive Minority Training Program. Never thought of myself as an executive before. You could be the Indian Bill Gates. Okay, you could be the Indian Ted Turner. I could be the Indian Julia Roberts. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Mindy Carling, everybody! How are you? I'm very excited to be back. You, you look fantastic. I have to say, your orange dress is lovely. I'm Thank very you. taken with it. It's it wraps you up in a lovely fashion. I like that. It is, I like it too. You almost you want to kind of unwrap you. I know. 
no, that's not a. Pr Okay, I'll, not take appropriate? I'll take no. it. No, I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check where we are. Here. No, appropriate right. is not what we do. I know skeleton. Okay, I know Jeff is, you're very excited about Jeff. Reasonably. It's like a Mexican day of the dead. Like, I don't know. Like, he has a... No, no, no. no. Like, he's, he's, he's lovely. He's a huge fan of you, I believe. Oh, now I feel bad. No, I, that's true. I love your work, Miss Mindy Galing. What are you? That, that was pretty awesome that you did that, though, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, Mindy. I'm charmed and disturbed at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, me too. Wait, I, you I, well. great. Thank you very much. I have to say, there's huge congratulations in order for you. When? The Peabody Award. Yes, I won that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Award is like the Peabody Award is like a classy award. Yeah, it's like a really posh thing. That's why I had to get a robot skeleton immediately. Yeah, I mean, like Ken Burns wins like the Peabody Award. I know. Like the Civil yeah, War. they could have documentaries about things that go on for a very long time. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing about Ken Burns' documentary about the Civil War it lasts as long as the actual <laughs> Civil War. He takes you through day by day. Well, I was just thinking, like, you know, I usually come on and we do some foolishness, talk about nonsense and, right. you know, whatever, ferality. But now I feel like we need to, like, step it up a little bit because this is, like, a Peabody Award-winning show. Well, that's what that dude over there is thinking as well. <laughs> he came over here. No, that's what I... I'm totally with him. Well, it's like, uh, no, you can't do that. No, we need to be, like, solving problems and stuff. I don't have any solutions to any problems. <laughs> I'm a high school dropout from another country. I don't... <laughs> I'm here to solve problems. I'm not here to help people. I'm here to help myself. Right. Oh, and the other thing is I saw your movie, oh, How to Train oh, Your oh, Dragon. The, 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 yeah, that's a good I'm movie, telling you, it? it's a, I, this is an amazing movie. You're so funny in it. But yeah, knock it off. What are you after? Well, no, listen. Well, I had a question, which is when you do animated movies, it always seems like a dream to me because since they can't see you... Right. You don't have to wear pants. Right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Like it's sweatpants Drive completely and a cigar. naked to the studio and you just do the whole thing naked. I actually like... wore a dress not dissimilar to that for the entire movie. How did uh, Gerard Butler, did he like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you call him Gerard Butler? See, I've known Jerry for a long time. I call him Jerry Butler. Gerard just, is not. It's just showing off. You're like, oh, do you call him by his full name? Because I, I call him Jerry. Okay, you're not great. Friend. I, I'm not showing off because I know Jerry Butler. I'm just surprised anyone else is impressed. That's all. <laughs> Have yes. you met Have you met Gerard? No, I. He, he'd like you. Oh, would he? Oh, yeah. Um, every time I see him on anything, he always is like grinning, like he just had like sex with a thousand women, like and when it is very charming, but you're just it's very disarming. Like he's always you can. He's just had sex that. with a thousand women. Yeah, he's he's, he's in a good mood. Yeah. He's like the opposite of that dude over there. <laughs> Um, but that, that looked like a lot of fun to work yeah, on. Yeah, no, it was all right. Yeah, no, it was all right. Hey, listen, are you still on the Tweety? Yes. I'm following you on the Tweety. Yeah, I love are, doing are it. You, are you following me back? I am following you. And what I love about you is you, you tweet a lot, which I think is good. Yeah. And you post a lot of photos. Yeah. Which are from the road and different things like that. I'm working up like to photographs of my... What? Genitalia. Yeah, can you do that okay. on Twitter? Can no, you put... absolutely not. You what? just won a Peabody Award. Like, how you... I know I have to balance things out. <laughs> That's what show business is all about, Mindy. Balanced. You win the Peabody Award, you get a photograph of your PP on Twitter. That's what you do. That's how you balance things out. That's how you embrace the people and the angry people who enjoy news. I just, I, I will feel, if you don't win next year, I'll feel like a little bit responsible for this. I just want to, we should be talking about peace or something. Wait, I have a question about your robot. Oh, yeah, okay. I think he's asleep, though. Okay. If I had a robot, right. I would make it the, you know, I could just have, it could be anything I wanted. Yeah. I, I just want to know why you didn't pick, like, a, a beautiful woman who just, like, always was telling you how good, like, I, why is well, it? Well, you assume that I didn't. Here's the problem. <laughs> Robot technology, as I have found out to my cost, is not quite as advanced as the movies would have us believe. <laughs> I meant to say, I'm, so I'm planning on going on a trip. I have like a little bit of a vacation right now. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, because it's hiatus. With it's the, a little yeah, bit yeah, of a hiatus. Yeah. And um, I haven't thought of any place because I, 
I like hate. Tr I like I like being in a place, but I hate traveling there. Right. And then when you're talking about Everest, I remembered a fact about Everest that uh -oh. I forgot, which I think is really cool and actually has a lot to do with your skeleton robot, which is that when you're climbing Everest, yes. you've reached a certain point, you pass a snowy field of corpses of people who've tried to reach the top of Everest and haven't made it. You made that up. I, it is completely true. And no one can, like, at, this, at that certain point, like, no one can bring the corpses back, so you're just walking by these desiccated skeletons and uh, corpses, and, and then, like, they, and they're just standing there being like, don't, wow. don't go any further. <laughs> And it's like apparently the most chilling like uh, field of corpses. I, I think you're on the way to get me another Peabody with this thing. <laughs> with Mindy Kaling's anecdotal yeah, Everest that's, uh, remarks. At that moment, she stopped any frivolity and <laughs> then everybody suddenly went, oh boy, that's weird. But isn't that like a crazy thing? Yes, it is. And that's why I wouldn't allow my 13-year-old child to climb Everest. No, that's insane. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe there's a mountain climbing family, you know, like people who are... I don't know if such a thing exists, but uh, I all the climb mountains in my family, get going. I just, I mean, I, I just, why would you want your child to be away from you in a, such a deadly situation? I, I won't really, I'm not happy about my son going in the pool. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, what, I guess it's better that the kid is climbing mountains and not... not taking drugs. Taking drugs. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think at a certain point, one's as dangerous as the other, don't you think? <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Um, I love being here. Thank you for having me. No, it's not that quick. You know, you can slow you. I got, I got stuff to do, so I gotta go. You really do? <laughs> no. Oh, I would no. stay here forever. I love being here. Do you? Yeah, well, you can hang out. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, if you want. Actually, if you can fit into that outfit there, you can have the job. <laughs> it's the eyes. The eyes are what's, like, so... So, what, yeah. Chilling. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, he's just come back from Mount Everest, where he was in the, uh... <laughs> Yeah. No, we're out of time, Mindy. It's, it's lovely to see you, though. It's so the nice. Thank, thank you for... Good. You're coming uh, back next season, aren't you? Yes, I am. How many, how many seasons is that now? It's going to be our seventh season. Oh, that's the lucky one. Yeah? <laughs> Money-wise. Yeah, no, I hadn't oh. thought of that. Oh. I'm not... Oh, 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 oh. I hadn't thought about liar, that. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I hadn't thought of the money of the show that I've been working on for I seven years. I just do it for the art. I don't even... Yes, I get paid. Nobody... Nobody on TV does it for the art, it's TV! <laughs> people paint for the art, and people do TV for cash. We're hookers, come on! I, I, the money is nice. It is, yeah. If I could, is I that believe. tacky yeah. to say? Nah, it's alright. Anyway, we're, we're out of time. Um, uh, but now there's commercials, which is sometimes the best part of the show. <laughs> it's been nice, though. I've, I've missed you. Will you come back sooner? Uh, I will. I'll come back every week. I gotta say, I do not like sharing this, this stage with him. I feel like he steals focus from me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mean to be like a crazy actress who needs focus, which is exactly what I am, but I just, I can't. This is too much. It's he has a time to check the tweets. Yeah, right. I mean, we'll check the tweets. And he only says one-liners. Like, how can I beat this? He's a, he's a robot yeah, with no, a metal it's mohawk. It's time yeah, to all right, no, we check, check the, the tweets. tweets. We check right. the tweets. Right. Thanks. We Thanks, Thank Jeff. You. Yeah, right. Uh, we'd better go. The lovely Mindy Kelly, everybody. We were right. Next guest is a very funny man. He stars in uh, Direct TV's Supreme Court of Comedy. He's here performing. Uh, no, he's not here performing. Well, he is here performing, but he'll also be performing elsewhere. <laughs> not necessarily today, but this weekend he'll be at Bananas Comedy Club in Hasbrook Heights in New Jersey. <laughs> you flash bastard. Please welcome my friend Dom Herrera, everybody. Oh, it's so easy to make fun of bananas, Mr. Peabody Award. <laughs> I'm tired of the Peabody Award. All right, all right. All the actors out of work in this town, and you got a robot as a sidekick. Thanks a lot, man. 
I so I, love I that smell of corned beef. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> Thumbs on, everybody. I'd appreciate you not talking about Mount Everest. My grandparents died at the top of Mount Everest. I'm kidding. <laughs> you think my grandparents climbed Mount Everest, you morons? I don't mean that in a bad way. That's my cousin Johnny with the Italian eraser phrase. I don't mean that in a bad way. Hey, Don, that guy's a low-life, scummy, little fat rat weasel bastard. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just got back from Hawaii this morning because of you, my friend. I was in Hawaii. Hawaii's one of those places, no matter what happens to you, people never listen. They're so intrigued by the islands. Hey, how you doing, huh? Just got back from Hawaii. I got, my wife got bit in the ass by a shark. We lost a puppy in a volcano. I broke my leg swimming. Really? You were in Hawaii? Wow. <laughs> Tropical sunsets? <laughs> we have to learn to bring people together. You know, I was talking to these Hasidic Jews the other day, and I thought they were nice people. And, it, and you talk to like, like I, I have a tendency to be shy around Muslim women with all that garb. I don't know what to say to them. Hey, uh, nice eyes. <laughs> Especially the one that's looking right at me. That's a good eye. Not the one, not the cow eye that's drifted. I met this woman. She was so chi she was so Chinese that it looked like she always had a headache. Oh. 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 And, and she I'm more, I was I, I was in a hotel in Philadelphia. And she was working for room service. Like, who didn't get the job that she got? She couldn't speak English. I call her up. I go, uh, can I have a, a grilled eggplant BLT? It sounded good. She goes, you want a B-E-L-T? I said, that's exactly what I want. I want a, a belt made of eggplant with bacon strewn through it so I can eat it during the day. When I'm finished, my pants will fall off and I'll hop into bed. I appreciate being a comedian, you know, I appreciate it because it's like such a fun job. A friend of mine's a neurosurgeon. He says to me, man, I could never do what you do. I go, yeah, but at least you can kid around a little. I can't do a little neurosurgery. I can't, I can't walk into an OR, how you doing, Mrs. Rosenblatt? I'm Dom Rare, I'm a comedian, I'm gonna crack your skull open. But the real doctor's here, God forbid anything should go wrong. I had a bad attitude as a waiter. I was one of these waiters, oh, geez, customers, it's all I need now. My night isn't bad enough. You gotta bust my Paulinis. What are you gonna want, coffee? Tell me now, because I ain't dancing back and forth for you and your dollar. Oh boy, a dollar? Now I can go to a good college with my dollar. Dollario. How do these people get these jobs? I call up room service. Room service, can I get some lunch, please? The guy goes, orange juice? I said, did I say lunch? I think it must have been orange juice. You're reading my mind. Why would I want a delicious, full-balanced midday meal when I get a nice glass of acid or an empty stomach to burn a hole in my esophagus and give me agita for the rest of my life? I always feel bad for the fresh pepper guy. Poor guy, poor bastard. He's stuck into the country. He knows four words in English, and two of them are fresh pepper. He's always hiding in a fresh pepper bullpen, worried about an immigration raid. They drop the salads. He tentatively tiptoes out for his moment in the sun. Fresh pepper? Fresh pepper? No thanks. Oh. Orange juice? I think the greatest job has to be a waiter at a buffet. That's my guy. How you doing, folks? Welcome to the buffet. Help yourself. What are you looking at me for? Hey, if I got it, then it ain't a buffet anymore. I, lo I love those guys that like ridiculous substitutions. They know it's not going to happen. They give it a shot. Hey, brother, home style, check it out. Instead of them celery sticks, can I get me a veal parmigiana? What's up with that? Why don't you chuck that parsley and slip me a shank steak, home skillet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I met this woman from Arkansas. I love these characters. She says to me, you ever have grits? I go, yeah, I had grits. She goes, you ever have fried okra? I said, I don't know if I've had fried okra. She goes, I'll fry you up some okra so delicious, make you want to slap your mammy. I've never heard that before. I can't fathom anything so incredibly delicious that it would make me want to clock my own mother. <laughs> Man, this is good. I mean, this is really delicious. Mom, could you step over here for a second? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Come on, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, come uh, on. Hey, hold me. Look at hold you. Me. Look at you. Look at you all grown up. Oh, boy. Doing a great job. Yeah. How are you, pal? I'm good, man. Good to see you. You were in Hawaii? I was in Hawaii this morning. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's you cute. just came in from Hawaii today? Yeah, I came in for the show. Really? Yeah. You should have stayed in Hawaii. This is not a good no, one. <laughs> it's uh, a good show. It's a, it's good exposure. It's good practice in case I do television. Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Come on, give Come a on, you do, and you're doing bananas this weekend I'm in Jersey. Bananas, I've never, yeah. That's a club I, I've never played bananas. And you never will, I'll tell you that. Right now, no, no. <laughs> because you make too much money now. No, I don't. What do you no. make for like a theater gig? <laughs> About 40, 45 bucks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Craig, every time I come on here, it's fun. And I, I admire you so much because you don't pander to the crowd. You're not one of these guys who tries to entertain. Exactly. Well, exactly. You know, you know, yeah, like a lot of these guys who go for the laugh. That's no, not don't you. Go for the laugh, you no. do whatever you do. Whatever the hell I want. And, yeah. and the hell with them, right? Well, well, I mean, they're hired transients. Why the hell should yeah. I try and make them laugh? They'll get their chicken or they won't, depending on how they behave. Chickens. I took my girlfriend, true story, stop me if you heard this, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong and feed me if I'm hungry. I took my girlfriend to a chicken place, right? Mm -hmm. She goes up to the chicken guy, she goes, can I get some drumsticks? The guy says, we don't have drumsticks, we just have legs. So she comes and sits down and says, what's the difference between drumsticks and legs? She goes, I don't know, maybe the drumsticks are the front legs. I go, oh yeah, the front legs are a chicken? Have you ever seen a chicken cartwheeling around a room? Chicken doing one-arm pull-ups? Well, maybe it's a special type of Hawaiian chicken that the, uh, <laughs> you know, that can run on its four legs. No, they've only got two, haven't they? Uh, well, yeah now, they, yeah, now they've evolved to that. Now, so tell me about the Peabody Award, for the love of God. I, sure, what do you need to know? Your, your ratings have gone up, and right. I'm not saying I'm part of it. I'm just saying... Oh, no, no, it's, it's it was because little... of you, uh, the last time you were here. Did you did you actually go to an awards dinner? Or... No, no, they have it uh, They have it in New York, in uh, May 17th. They have this big awards dinner in New York, which also, coincidentally, happens to be my birthday, May 17th. May 17th? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 whoa, sorry, geez. That's not yet. I haven't made it yet, so... I'm going, I'm going to Australia on May 17th. Are you through, really? Yeah. And I, as a matter of fact, Are you going to stop in Hawaii on the way or just no, go straight no, there? No, no, I'm going straight there. Yeah. I love when people go, boy, I would never want to do that, that flight. For, for, no, I would never want to go to Australia. I go, you don't have to worry about it. Nobody's going to fly you first class to Australia because yeah. you don't do anything. Yeah. Hey, let's get that girl Karen, fly her to Australia. <laughs> for, then when she gets there, what happens? Nothing. I, I love are, this. are they going to fly you first class to Australia? Well, I flew my, I bumped myself up. You do? Man, man And then is, you get on the plane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey! hey. hey. Little, little, <laughs> little bit of that nose. Maybe I will be playing bananas. <laughs> little bit of that nose candy. Yeah. Bananas. Bananas get you no women. You know, you can't say you're at Bananas and impress. Hey, you're a comedian. I reckon I would. Uh, Dom something. Yeah, Dom Herrera. Where you at? Uh, bananas. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Things are really going swimmingly for you. No, no, no. Bananas is a good club. It's got a good reputation as being one of the premier night spots one in New Jersey. One of the premier holiday inns <laughs> in, in Hasbrook Heights. <laughs> uh, well, we're out of time, Dom. Want to have an awkward moment? Uh, why not? I've, I've had a few, but unintentionally. Let's do an intentional one. You want to do an awkward, an awkward pause? Oh, you've started! Oh, all right. No, no, yeah. no. <laughs> all right. Come on, then. You're overdoing it, man. Let it go. Let it go. Settle down. and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 213-833-6469. Hasta mañana. That's not, don't, don't, no, 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 it's too late now. So, uh... You learn anything on the show tonight, Jeff? No, Craig. <laughs> Do you think uh, you think this thing's going to work out between me and you? Yes, Craig. <laughs> well, you know, you're going to have to start contributing a little bit more. You know that, right? Yes, Craig. <laughs> You can't just say yes, Craig, all the time. That's not helping. No, Craig. <laughs> you're gonna do. You're gonna have to contribute more. You're gonna have to bring a little more of yourself to this. Oh, uh, yes, Mindy. <laughs> Sometimes he calls me Mindy when the cameras aren't on. 
Yes. Cry. Oh, yeah, I know. They know. I just told them. Well, you know, it's early days for me and Jeff, isn't it? Really, Jeff? It's early days for us. Yes. Cry. We have to develop a chemistry together. Yes. Cry. Maybe one of us could say more than just yes, Craig. No, Craig. <laughs> it's time to check the tweets. No, it's Craig. no, no, it's time to go. Uh, Jeff Peterson, everybody, we gotta go. Good night.